Okay, guys. I got given this deer feeder right here. It's in disrepair. Didn't have any legs, no poles, no nothing like that. So, got a little tailgate project going on. Just got back from the dentist. If I'm kind of blah, 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 yeah, I can't feel my face. But uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to bring it back to life. It doesn't have a lid, no no legs. Went to Lowe's, rummaged around. Show you what I'm going to do. These right. wild game innovations deals, and you can see it's, it's shot. So we're going to make a gravity feeder out of it. I think this is one of the 30-gallon models. But uh, what I'm going to do, this is a... This is a toilet bowl flange, and I'm gonna bolt it right here to the downspout, get rid of this, and then I'll show you some measurements that I'm gonna use that I kinda saw in another video, so. All right, I'll be right back with you. This is just your standard toilet bowl flange. It's, uh, I think I give like four bucks for it this morning. Bought a two inch section, a three inch pipe, and a T, uh, all right, and we're going to turn all this into uh, the gravity system. It's going to kind of look something like this when it's all said and done. But the down, downspout is going to be nine inches. Then we're going to have two six-inch pieces coming off of each side, angled at 20 degrees to keep uh, rain from blowing in. And we're going to drill a couple of holes here to keep water out. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt this cut this and then come back and I'll show you what I did for the legs for this because all it had were these 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 were just stuck in here like so and uh, I got a pretty cool idea for the lid as well so be right back okay as you see I got the toilet bowl flange bolted here just with some simple screws they go through the inside about a half inch I don't think that's going to be a problem now, over here We've got the downspout, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna position these like so, okay? Where the angle is going back up. That way when rain hits it, it runs down. Anyhow, it's a theory. I don't know, I've seen a couple of guys on the tubes cutting them in this fashion, and they claim it keeps snow and rain from coming in. But this is basically, the what we're gonna do, I, I measured it and I cut my legs four foot tall. That way I can actually lift a bucket over into here. Uh, so it's gonna be about yay high, right? And I wanted it about waist high. I wanted it about waist high. Uh, that way the deer don't have to, anyhow, that's, that's where I wanted it. I wanted to be able to lift a bucket, so. All right, let me get this, uh, oh, wait, these, these legs, if you'll look over here, I did have one small section of the factory leg. That's all it came with. So, uh, chain link fits and galvanized top post fits directly in there. So if you ever lose a piece, dent one, bang one up, that's what you can extend the factory one with, or you can just customized cut and I, I bought two ten and a half foot pieces because I thought I was gonna need two turns out I only need one so I'm taking that one back it was like 13 bucks but I don't have a reason for it this is the only only other deer feeder we're gonna have at this location so um this will make three we got a Moultrie corn sock that straps to the tree we got a 55 gallon drum gravity feeder similar to this and then we got this this 30 gallon job when i get to the uh the lid portion i will uh i'll pick the video up from there oh and we're gonna we're gonna spray everything flat black not that the deer care but i don't want somebody walking through the property that we have permission and seeing it so i'm gonna kind of make it blend i might might throw a little whatever camo squirrels and swirls on it like We'll uh, be back with the lid portion. Okay, guys. Move your hand so that the speaker ain't covered up. Yeah, you. <laughs> okay. 50 gallon, 55 gallon drum lid. 
I drilled a hole here and a hole here. We're gonna flip it upside down and it's about an inch wide all the way around. We're gonna take a cinch strap, put it here. No, we're gonna, we're gonna do this backwards. Here. And here, okay? And we are going to simply cinch it up. So for $13 for the legs, this was just, I just rummaged around and got this. And I think the, uh, all the parts for the uh, PVC cost me right in the neighborhood of 12 bucks. So I took, took this and just brought new life back to it. Whoop. Yeah, I got to the other side. But anyhow, that's what how we're gonna run it. Uh, I'd like for that to be black. Maybe I hit it with some paint. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.